do, right? Not to just design mm -hmm. uh, through the image. Yes. Uh, well, it may seem strange for a writer to talk about uh, the visibility of words because uh, naturally we will think that words are just signs and they are not a representation of something that we can see. So we need to go through this process of decoding the signs and turning the words into images in, in our minds. Uh, but uh, I think this is also the, a special uh, quality of words that it can uh, uh, evoke uh, visual imaginations, uh, unlike the very concrete uh, images that we see in pictures or in photographs. So in pictures, uh, uh, we see exactly how something is represented. Uh, I'm not saying that it represent it, we see the truth or the reality, but we see the representation. Uh, the representation is very concrete. Uh, if it is red, we see it as red. We cannot imagine it as blue or something else. Uh, but for words, it's always... Uh, uh, for words, on the one hand, it makes visible by depicting or describing something. And that is you focus on some details. For example, if I want to make a description of uh, uh, the today's... Uh, weather and the scene outside or inside, I can make many choices. Uh, if I want to describe what's going on here in this room, I can describe uh, how many people are there, how old they are, their genders, and then the, uh, how the teachers look like. You know, I can try to do that. Uh, I can also go on to talk about uh, details like the shape of the spectacles and the color of the clothes that people wear. Uh, but for a writer, we can never get every detail. Uh, if I take a photograph here, I get every detail in my picture. But if I'm to write about this scene, I cannot write everything. So I need to make selections. And so I focus on something. Uh, and for this selection, it's like uh, you highlight something that you think is the most essential and important for this scene. If you take a photograph, you have, of course, for, to a certain extent, you can put your stress on something or some point in some way. But if you need to take a group photograph, it's very hard to show where your focus is. If you take a photograph of this part, huh, and there are more than 20 of you here, you know, it's hard to, 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 to highlight something. Huh? But if I'm to write about it, I can highlight something. Huh? I can just generally say that there's a group of people here, but then I particularly focus on one or two of them and their reactions. Huh? So this is the way that uh, writing makes visible things by paradoxically also hiding many things at the same time. Uh, so if I focus on, uh, on the teachers, then maybe I would not have the space or the interest to talk much about the students. Uh, so uh, uh, it is the limitation, but also the special, uh, special quality of writing to both showing something and hiding something at the same time. And sometimes it's even more paradoxical that we can hide something by showing something. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, I don't know whether you have read or heard about uh, uh, Pamuk, the, the Turkish uh, writer, Pamuk, who uh, has won the Nobel Prize some years ago. Uh, he has a very famous novel called my name is Red. It is something like a detective story. Uh, and in one of his chapter, uh, there is a murderer in this story. And we don't know who he is. So the few people involved keep, uh, they take turns to narrate their story. So the narrators keep changing chapter by chapter. And then we need to guess uh, what's going on. We need to put together the picture 
from different testimonies. Uh, and in one chapter, suddenly, the murderer comes out and says, I'm the murderer. And then he goes on saying many things. But in the end, you don't know who he is or who she is. You know, you, see, you hear his voice and you see what he describes to you. But you cannot see his face and he can hide himself. So it's very wonderful. I think this chapter is very wonderful by showing a lot, but at the same time hiding the most important thing. So uh, this, this thing of visibility or invisibility, maybe you know, uh, uh, we can supplement it by saying that it is two-way, two-way. It's not just making visible the invisible, but also make the, the visible invisible sometimes. Yeah. So for me now, when I reflect on this topic, I would say it should be a two-way interaction.